Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create a scenario in Octopuff. Uh, after logging into your project and uh, go to the design step and you can go to directly runtime after logging into your project. So click on runtime. So click on the play symbol here to create a new scenario. Uh, after clicking this play symbol, it will show you the uh, graph, basic graph. So uh, by default, it will select a one script, the default script. Uh, if you want to add a new script here, uh, so if you click on the virtual user to the left, uh, it will show you the, all the scripts available in your project. So you already had at the home page of task incomplete. And if you want to select uh, another scenario, another script into your scenario, just click on the play symbol here. So now you got two, two, look at two scripts now. So if you want to add this uh, name, uh, home page of home page. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm changing the name here, profile name. Home page of task in complete. Uh, complete. Complete. Here this will be. Uh, Octopuff, okay, sorry. Uh, Octopuff JPEG store, okay. We this is the JPEG store, and this is the task and website. Okay, we have the two scripts now, and this is the total load. What you're going up now, going for uh, 10 users, 10 users, and uh, uh, one one script is for we have two, two different lines here, so which defines the uh, user load for each script. The diamond is for another script. The circle is for another script. So if you see that octopus is 10 users, octopus is 10 users. Home page of task income to zero or one user, one user. So totally it will be 10 users of load now. So if you want to change our load, uh, I am now we are using only one user here, user user. So I will make five users here. So now it's five users. So I am changing the five five users for each script. So, 25 users for each script. So, it's saved now. Uh, and what kind of strategy you want to use it? So, whether in a ramp up and steady state, directly drop or uh, ramp up, steady state, ramp down or stepping up, uh, third group. So, this is the current pattern now. Now, I'm adding uh, the second pattern. So, the uh, ramp up, steady period and ramp down. And this is stepping up, stepping up. This is stepping up uh, third group. Like just like in JMeter, stepping up third group. So or you can use a different pattern as well. By, like, by clicking, you can add a different pattern as well here. So if you click this, you can use a pattern here. So what pattern you want. So you can uh, drag this uh, users here. Drag this users here. And that will help you. That will help you. That will help you here. Uh, so yeah, you can drag and drop the values which you can, which you can uh, make use of. You click, it will add another node now. Now I'm going to add this another node. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this is my another pattern. So you can click on this node and you can select the users also. If you make five here, uh, so the respective node will change. You click on this node, it's a five users. So if you make 10, it will go up. It will go up. So you can select the node, uh, number of nodes, and you can uh, change the duration here. So you click now here, it's a 14 minutes, and make it 30 minutes, 50, 50 minutes. So you got that node to 50 minutes. So if you want to, if you want to delete that node, Click select that node, click delete. Select that node, delete. Select a node, delete. So I'm deleting the all unwanted nodes now. Just I'm, I'll create a new pattern. So now I have a good pattern now. So if you want to change this position of this uh, three minutes, two minutes to 20 minutes, now it was 20 minutes. It came to 20 minutes. And if you click on this, uh, it's 30. Then we'll make it at a 50. 50 hours of steady state. 50 hours of steady state. Uh, this node is dropping down. So 
uh, will make it a 16 minutes. Now you got the pattern. One hour, 16 minutes is one hour. So we got an uh, actual pattern, one hour of execution uh, for this thing. If you want to copy the same pattern to other uh, scenario as well, so you have a uh, duplicate this option. So duplicate this and change your script here. Change your script here. You will have the script names here. Uh, you will have a script name here. You can search for a script name also. Type group. So there's a name what we have. So you can you can select this. So I'm deleting this now. I don't want to use that group. There's nothing in the third group. So I'm deleting this. So uh, go to the home page of task in complete. Uh, this one also. Just I'm selecting this one only. So 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So uh, total 15 users. I will make it a five users. Five, five users, 10 users. Five users and five users, 10 users totally. Uh, yeah, the 10 minutes you can change the execution duration here. Uh, so no problem. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, change the location here, if you want to change the location here, so click on this location and you can change the drop down and you can select the available uh, available uh, machine. So <coughs> If you have an AWS, you can select AWS. Uh, if you paid for uh, Azure, you can use Azure. If you have Google uh, DigitalOcean, you can use the DigitalOcean. Uh, DigitalOcean, and you can use only uh, customized AWS instances as well. Uh, just for that, to integrate that uh, AWS to your account, your Octopus, that you need to contact with Octopus team uh, to get it done with your. Uh, uh, Integration of AWS into your Octopus. So I'm changing the scenario name here. Now scenario for a sample test. So you can save this and you can run now. If you click run, it will run now. It will do the validation checks. Any 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 errors with your script, it will throw error here. Next, it will uh, it's a total scientist checks total one one two errors two errors. What do you say? If you click on this, if you click on this, now we'll get an all errors. Uh, you can validate your script before going to that. So maybe as is a trial version, it was it will not allow to run uh, more users. So we'll make one user and we'll make one user. Save. Okay. Click on run. Two errors in the script. Okay, just we need to modify our scripts here. Uh, when you click on validity, so it is showing the errors here. CSV variable conflict in our column name. So if you go to the file, sorry, if you go to the CSV here, uh, if you go to the variables, CSV, so this is variable you are not using anymore. You can delete this, delete this. Uh, you can delete this as well. I'm not using this anymore. Uh, content value, this is also we can delete this. Yeah. Now, if you go back to runtime, uh, click on this. I'm changing the scenario now. No scenario. Okay, save. Save now run. So maybe we are using the same uh, usernames for the uh, login credential, login password here. Okay, we can do the name and username. So I'm deleting this also. I'm using only one variable uh, and I'm deleting this variable now what I'm using in my script. So save, validate, uh, I'm validating. Now this should work in our script. Uh, stopping this, go to the runtime, click on new scenario, what they created, created earlier, now run this. No, no errors, zero errors, you can start to get this, uh, new scenario name. So a free test one out of 100 for running this. There it will show you that your uh, limited uh, 
which is a number of uh, pending executions. So I have 100 by this trial version. So it goes uh, ramping up the uh, machines and uh, ramping up the machines. And you can uh, see in the log how many machines it was starting up. So it was starting with one machine and the region as well, each to which is starting up. Uh, this is a percent of mission uh, started up. So agent uh, name has started. This is the IP of that agent. IP of that agent. So this is a uh, maybe this, this could be the private IP. It is not public IP. It's a private IP of AWS mission. It could be a private IP or it could be a public IP. Make sure if you have any concerns regarding IP whitelisting. So make sure before you uh, do whitelisting. Now, test to start from created to pending, pending to scaling, scaling to preparing, preparing to initializing. Next, initializing will be will from initializing to running. So, this is how we need to use creators in our own start our execution. Thanks for listening to this.